hey everybody this is Sully with five freaking onion rings and I am here with part three on how far can you go in a Chevy Volt for five dollars worth of gas and I am enjoying the heck out of this little series because I keep trying to find ways to maximize my mileage I reach the very minimum uh, worst mileage I ever had and that was due to 15 degree weather actually it was 11 degrees and so my engine kept running for engine due to temperature that little thingy so I can get as good this time but I've gone through two maintenance cycles since my last update and still been pretty happy with what I've gotten as results so anyway we're gonna jump inside the car here because it's only 25 degrees outside and I'm freezing so yeah here we are uh, we have two vehicle messages ice possible drive with care because it's very cold charge cord connected because I'm charging if you keep your tires at 41 or 42, you will get better. Uh, right now I've got one side that's in the sun and one side that's not. So these even out whenever I drive. 34%, I haven't changed oil in over a year and a half. And here we go. This is my lifetime, which is seven and a half miles per gallon, or seven and a half gallons for 11,139 miles. And that was due to the engine burning out about six gallons, uh, five gallons or so, five and a half gallons for the yearly maintenance that it forces you to do. We go over here, this is since the challenge started, which I'm now at 3,585 miles, uh, 0.7 gallons. And yeah, that's not too bad. 0.3 of those is from uh, my, like I say, the ERDTT engine running due to temperature, which in the 2013, you can set to be 15 degrees Fahrenheit or uh, 32 degrees. So I'd set mine down to 15. The other reason I'm inside this car is because I want to talk about something that will probably change your life. And if you've never had it before, I'm talking about this little button right here. This is what they call a seat heater, and I've never had one, but this is a life-changing button for a few reasons. And one of those reasons is quite simple. When you go out on a first date, Let's say you got a girl and you're all happy and you're just going out for the date. And uh, you, you, you know, or, or if you're a girl and you got a guy and you're all happy there and you're, you're just going for your date, you're happy. And you go out for dinner and you drive around and you might go somewhere and whatever. Well, if you know, the Chevy Volt doesn't have the best heating system in the world, although it is pretty good, I have to give credit. But with seat heaters, you will warm, you, you just feel warmer and it like makes your life so much better. You just, you feel so much warmer. But it has an added benefit, an added benefit that I didn't know about until I took someone out. And uh, yeah, let's just say we're out. It's five degrees. The outside's cold. The cabin's kind of warm, but not really. But the seat heater was blasting and it was freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. Well, you know, we went out for Mexican food because that's what we do. And you... Uh, you go out for Mexican food and you have some uh, side effects of Mexican food. So uh, let me let me preface the story with way back in college I had a friend that used to tell me he would take a lady out for Mexican food so that you would break certain barriers shall we say kind of early. Well it, yeah those barriers you, you, you know what barriers I'm talking about kind of early so that you know he, he, you just get over the hump and uh, you, you could you could progress from there. But I have found out that with this one magic button, this button right here, if you take someone out and they're trying to be all silent and discreet and whatnot, you can't do that with a seat heater because the second anything releases from that area, it hits the heating element and the smell is exponentially increased. So what you do is you take someone out on a frigid night and you go for that Mexican food and then you get in the car and then you let, let loose an SBD and it, it is definitely D, but it is not, it, it, it is awful. It's like something in there just multiplies the stench and just fills the cabin. And it's, it's the best thing ever. It's like life changing. Cause if you want to torture somebody, toss them in there, just, just feed them a bean burrito, toss them in there. And man, life is great. Anyway, that's it for this update. Thanks for watching. And uh, you know, we'll see you on that next side. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. Give me a subscription down below if you haven't subscribed already and i really appreciate it thanks so much um thanks for returning all that good stuff 
I do really appreciate it. So we'll talk at you next time. Stay freaking awesome.